Senator Robert Vail served the citizens of Bear County for 20 years in the state legislature, a tireless advocate for the needs of the working class, especially in education, health care, and the environment. At Robert Vail Middle School, the Stingrays are learning that creating a new school means putting the essential pieces in place. The life of their namesake reveals a man who clearly knew that the most essential pieces were family, education, and public service. The qualities that made Senator Bob Vail successful were cultivated early in his life an analytic mind, an outgoing personality, and even a love of crossword puzzles. He was self-driven, you know, he loved reading, he loved school, and he was a, a good student, and that's what made him a good lawyer, and that's what made him a good legislator. He was born in Deep South Texas in 1931, the third of nine children. Growing up, he developed a love of learning that lasted his entire life. He was a scholar always was when wanting to be the top of the class, making the high grades, which he did. He, he loved reading, was one of his things that really I could see him always with a book. He graduated as salutatorian of his high school in 1950 and went on to St. Mary's University and St. Mary's Law School. He served two years in the Army during the Korean conflict before starting his law practice in San Antonio. Some say Bob's smartest move was marrying a girl from England. Six months after they met, Bob married his wife, Teresa, on October 25, 1958. They raised their four children in Northside, three daughters and a son, and took an active role in their activities. He would come out of session in his three-piece suit and would take off his coat and vest and be volunteering as a timer at the swim meets. Even more than that, he was an example to all of us as coaches as to how to be parents for our kids. And in a way, that was his biggest effect on me personally, so much so that he became the godfather to my middle child, our oldest son. Bob was first elected to the Texas House of Representatives in 1964 and went on to serve seven terms there, before his election to two terms in the Senate, beginning in 1978. Throughout his political career, Senator Vail served on the Education Committee and was instrumental in passing legislation that created and funded many of the city's education institutions, including UTSA, the University of Texas Health Science Center and Dental School, and the San Antonio State School. Whether he was supporting bills that brought tuition equalization grants to college students or bilingual education programs to public schools, Senator Vail always had a job to do. That's one of the things he said. He said, you realize, you know, you go up there with all kinds of high hopes that you're going to uh, pass all the things that you promised and you realize as you go through each session that uh, you can't do it all at once and it's a learning experience where you have to come back and then you have to make more friends and, you know, tell people about you, uh, the bill and get more, more support. Senator Vail distinguished himself as a member of both the Killer Bees and the Dirty 30, two groups of legislators who took a stand for their beliefs, no matter the political costs. One could always trust Bob, one could always depend on him, you knew where he was and he was unmovable. But frankly, I wish we had more uh, Bob Vales today uh, for higher education in this state and in this city and this region. Senator Vail taught others by example. He just showed me that, that if you work hard and, and, and follow your dreams, you can do what you want to do. And that's what he did. I mean, he grew up in a small town from the valley, served as an artillery officer in, in Korea, went to law school and then became the longest serving uh, representative in San Antonio for a long time. And uh, that's what I took away from him, that's what he taught me. Senator Vail died in 1992 at age 60, but his legacy lives on through his family, which today includes eight grandchildren, and now in the middle school named in his honor. He always valued education uh, and he gave his children the educational opportunities that he never had. Uh, they all did well, Yale and you know, athletic scholarships, they were all swimmers. 
and I'm sure he'd be here to tell the children that whatever they want to succeed, they can do, as, as long as they put the mind to it, you know. Vail Middle School is Northside's 16th middle school and was built from funds from the voter-approved school bond 2004. The school is located on Ellison Drive off of Highway 151 near SeaWorld. The front parking lot has an up-close view of the park's roller coaster, the Steel Eel. The Vail faculty even took a surprise field trip to SeaWorld and got an up-close look at their mascot. On the first day of school, Senator Vail's wife and sister came to greet students and families. The home of the Stingrays is already home to more than 1,300 students. I think they're trying to discover where their paths are. And so the puzzle, the piece that they're leading is their own path. And they're the biggest piece to our campus, as our students. We couldn't be successful without them being successful. So our goal is to make sure each of them has their own path and their own piece of the puzzle and that they take it to the highest limit that they possibly can. Technology is a huge piece of the Vail learning experience, and not just for the students. Vail Middle School is the first Northside Middle School to issue teachers laptops instead of desktop computers. Docking stations allow them to easily connect with printers and ceiling-mounted projectors. An integrated security system, including surveillance cameras, is another tool for administrators and police to oversee the campus. Select yes to log in. The school is wireless, but students also use the computer labs and library to connect with technology. Science and math teachers use e-chalkboards instead of overhead projectors. And in the science lab, the whiteboard is still the place for students to show off their problem solving. Students in the AVID program are already prepping for success in college by learning skills that will help them through middle and high school. While the football team practices on the athletic fields, the volleyball team practices inside the air-conditioned gym. They also demonstrate the unique Stingray victory cry. Students at Vail Middle School are willing to work hard to be successful which is evident as they patiently practice their instruments in orchestra class. Okay, set your hand, third finger. And perfect songs in the choir room. In academics, fine arts, and athletics, the Stingrays are putting the essential pieces together to form a school that challenges students and staff to go above and beyond expectations. When you're messing with the stingrays, when you're messing with the stingrays, you're messing with the bear.